14 billion years ago there is a huge massive explosion in the deeper space and that explosion results in the formation of the different star different galaxies different universe we are living in a today's world and that particular world is a result of the big bang theory yes that particular massive explosion is termed as a big bang after the big bang the more major of majority of the stars majority of the planet gets born like over here we can say that the universe is born after a big bang so over here you can see that the massive universe or else the big bang is the start point or else the whole of the universe gets born just because of the big bang that huge explosion so likewise we can say that this particular big bang is not a one time event it can happen again again and again with infinite number of times which results in the formation of the different universes that is different distinct universes so we can say that our big bang results in our universe in which we are living the other big bang might be results in a different universes so different different universes so guys over here i am talking about the term which is known as a multiverse so yes the majority of the scientists majority of the physicists string theorists they are also researching on the similar term that is of multiverse and they have proposed the different models of the multiverse such as the bubble universe baby black hole theory membranes and extra dimensional theory and many world hypothesis so these are the theories these are the models i am going to explain you in today's video so guys today's video is very much interesting please do watch this video till the end and if you are new over here on my educational channel engineers academy kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new educational informative video you will get instant notification so without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the multiverse as we all know we all are here dumped down in the middle of the incompleteness of the cosmology it means that we don't know the laws of nature yet we don't know the mathematics or we don't know how does it works like there is no unified theory in physics which will apply to the universe the laws that can apply to the earth but it cannot apply to the whole of the universe likewise uh we can understand that uh, like uh, newton have discovered the gravity we always think that gravity is always attractive but after the uh, einstein's theory of the general theory of relativity which he published in 190 1915 after that the everything is changed after that there is the addition of the other dimension that is the time after that we came to know that the gravity can be repulsive under certain circumstances so the laws of the physics are not unified yet so it is necessary to understand those laws of physics and it is uh, also necessary to understand the multiverse first of all so guys over here i am talking about the multiverse uh, the different n number of the uh, universes which are present there and those different universes consist of their different galaxies different star formations different uh, structure different laws of physics and they will be having the entirely different life maybe they will be having life or maybe they not like we we, we can only predict those all of those things so first of all let's talk about the observable universe so the name itself says that the observable like if we are over here on the earth and we can observe the surroundings that is in a deeper space like this observable universe is the universe it is the range or the criteria that we can observe the deeper space we can observe the universe first of all the diameter of the observable universe is the 93 billion light years out of which we have only discovered the 46 billion light years likewise so so that is nothing but the range of the observable universe suppose there is a different person or who is standing at the edge of the our observable universe he might find a different observable universe under his range of the eyesight or else his his observable universe will be different from our observable universe so over here if we allocate a different persons at a different periphery of our observable universe there will be n number of the observable universe which gets 
formed over here so that results in the formation of the bubble multiverse theory this particular bubble multiverse theory can be also called as the baby black hole model like there are the different bubbles which are there moving in the space and this particular bubbles carries the different universes like the different galaxies different star formations which are present there in those like in the bubble shape so this is nothing but the model that is proposed that is that is also a theoretical model and this particular model is known as the bubble universe or a baby black hole model the second, the second model of the multiverse consist of the membranes and the extra dimensions models so guys as we all know we are only familiar with the three dimensions that is the x y and z dimension but after the the after the general theory of relativity there is also a four dimension that is nothing but the time so adding on there are multiple dimensions and the scientists physicists they are keep on looking for the multiple dimensions they they do not getting they they cannot able to find the exact number of the dimensions majority of the scientists string theories they are fail to get the exact number of the dimensions which are present in the outer space it is just because of the whole of the universe is continuously expanding with the speed of the light so guys that was all about the dimensions now let's talk about the membranes so the membranes if we go deeper into an atom or the molecule the structure is consist of the membranes so this particular membrane is somewhat related to the string theory now this particular membranes are nothing but the strings which will be having the different dimensions or as irregular dimensions now this particular membrane and extra dimension theory states that there can be the multiple universes in the form of membranes so this particular extra dimension and membranes theory is also related to the multiverse as this membrane is the smallest amount of the energy and this energy results in the formation of the big bang as well so moving ahead to the third model that is nothing but the many worlds hypothesis so many worlds hypothesis is somewhat related to the uh, parallel universe or else the different alternate realities this particular many world hypothesis is gets connected to the different timelines of a space this particular multiverse consists of n number of probabilities n number of the different timelines suppose over here at a single timeline you are an engineer on earth in your universe but as per this many world hypothesis you can be a doctor you can be a scientist you can be a social worker on those different alternate realities on those different universes so likewise any of your uh, like uh, decision like it 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 may be in the form of yes or no results in the alternate dimensions alternate timelines and that also results in the alternate universes so that you know that sounds you know crazy kind of stuff but that that is scientifically proven in this case so there may be the alternate realities which will occur of your every decision every action and that results in the formation of the newer new universe so likewise as we can say the universe is expanding every second with the speed of light so we can connect we can link this particular uh, expansion of the universe to over here to this model many world hypothesis theory so this type of the many worlds hypothesis is you know slightly complicated but it is scientifically proven that there may be the alternate timelines which can occur into the space there may be alternate realities of you there may be alternate versions of you which will which can results in the formation of the different uh, universes out there so guys tell me what you think about this uh, alternate timeline alternate realities about the multiverse itself so guys i hope you like my video if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video